Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a monthly favorites video. I haven't done one of these in quite a while. I think I haven't done a favorites video since my best of 2016, actually. Not for any real reason, I just haven't had anything, like I haven't had enough products that I was like so in love with that I wanted to do a favorites video. But um, I have a couple, not a lot, but I have a few, so I figured I would just do this video for you guys. So if you guys wanna know, what my favorites were for this past month, then keep on watching. Okay, so first of all, if you guys have been watching my videos like in the last few months, you've probably seen a lot of a little furry friend that I was dog sitting for, and I will put a clip right here for you guys to see. That's Gunner. He's the cutest little Pomchi. He's a half Pomeranian, half Chihuahua. And I loved him. I loved having him. I was sitting him for like a month. So that's why he was in like a lot of videos I was doing at that time. And having him just made me kind of feel like I really wanted one of my own. It made me realize like there was kind of a void in my life that I didn't really know I had. And I just felt like I was really ready to become a little furry doggy mom. So, I did. So, I just wanna introduce you guys to Ranger here. Ranger, look up there. He is my favorite of the month. <laughs> he is also a half Pomeranian, half Chihuahua, and he is eight weeks old, and he is literally the Tasmanian devil. Aren't you? He drives me crazy, but I love him. <laughs> There's a reason puppies are cute. There is. Because puppies all around the world would be killed on a regular basis when they poop and they pee in your bed. Not mentioning any names. We have been spending lots of time. I've had him for a little over a week. And it's a, definitely a huge adjustment having a puppy this small. He bites, as you can see, he's teething. So he, he has razor blade teeth and he's constantly biting me. I've gotten bit in places we won't mention. <laughs> but he is super cute and <sighs> I love him. And so he has a little camo collar that is... I thought it was so cute because I love camo and I got him a little matching camo leash and since his name is Ranger I just thought it was like kind of cute and fading. <laughs> He's not quite as lovable as Gunner was yet but we'll get there. He's been sleeping so he's in a very playful mood right now because when he gets lots of rest he just wants to bounce off the walls. So It's definitely a huge adjustment I'm not gonna lie the first week I cried at the end of it <laughs> but it is worth it he is a little love and when he's not biting me <laughs> gotta be careful I'm gonna lose a nose one of these days okay so next I want to talk about a new brand that I recently was introduced to called Say Hello to Sexy Legs and they basically make like a it's kind of like comparable to Sally Hansen um, the spray makeup that you put on to like blur out your imperfections um, Vita Liberata makes one also they contacted me and asked me to try out their product I thought I already have products like it that I really enjoy so I didn't know how this was going to top it, either one of those products or, you know, how I would like it better. So I said, sure, I'll give it a try. And to say my mind was blown is an understatement. I'm going to show you a photo right here of me wearing this product, which is called the Tinted Glow Gel. Can we talk about the bronze that I have going on? So this is like a leg makeup that you put on and it's in a bronze color and it will give you a bronze glow but what I love about this is that it actually dries on your skin 
and it will not come off on your clothes. Where Sally Hansen and the Vita Liberata Blur Lotion both have ruined clothing of mine. And so this one does not do that, which is what is my favorite thing about it. But the color is so rich and bronzy and beautiful. So good. And then they also have this one, which is the illuminating fluid, which comes in a container like this. And it has a pump and it's basically like a cream highlight. So I'm going to show you here, like it's freaking beautiful. And I don't know if you're supposed to mix these together and then apply. I didn't do that. I put this on, I let it dry, and then I put this over it. And it was ridiculous, the level of glow. It was ridiculous. So beautiful. Amazing. You guys need to run and get this stuff. It's the best I've tried yet. Okay, the next item is a makeup brush and it's from Kevin Aquan and it came in this box, but here it is right here and it is well loved, as you can see. It is an angle, like, uh, I don't even know. It's called the Angle Foundation Brush and it's kind of like a Buki in a sense where it's like firm like that. It has short bristles. You can see my foundation all in it. Don't judge. But I love the way that this applies my foundation. It says as like a pro tip that you should buff and blend. But I find pressing it in actually gives me better coverage and I kind of love it better than the circular motion thing. I don't know, I just personally, I think it blends out better that way, but um, whatever, to each his own. But the brush is really, really amazing. I didn't realize Kevin Aquan's brushes were this bomb, but this is the third brush they've sent me, and so far, their brushes are really great. Okay, next I have kind of a random product. This is from Prestige Cosmetics, and this is called the Makeup Eraser Pen. Where has this been all my life? For those of you who do wing liner, this is going to be your new best friend. And for those of you who don't do wing liner because you screw it up or you can't get it even or you know you end up looking like a crazy person, this will help you so much. So the end of it looks like this and it's angled. And basically, it's an eraser. So when you go to put on your winged liner, you can just, if you make any mistakes, just swipe and gone. So good. It also works for your brows or really anything. It's just a makeup eraser. It says precisely fix eye and lip makeup flaws, so you can use it for your lips also. It comes with a couple of backups here at the bottom. Refills. I don't know. I just, this is so great. I've used it for my wing liner several times. I've used it on my brows. I have not used it on my lips yet, but I think I'm going to give that a try actually for like using like a dark lip color when you want it to look super sharp and perfect. Yes. Okay, next I want to talk about this product here, which is from Sky Organics and it is 100% pure castor oil. Castor oil has a ton of different benefits to it, um, kind of like coconut oil in a sense. But I've been using it actually quite a bit because my skin has been really dry. Now, I have a little card here from Sky Organics. They sent me a few different products. I also have a jojoba oil and a peppermint oil, um, both which I like too. But this in particular, it's very thick and it works really well. It is known for its ability to strengthen thinning hair, um, and it prevents hair loss, but that's not what I use it for. Obviously, I don't have issues with my hair. It has a lot of vitamin E in it, so it will help with split ends. I haven't tried it for that either, but actually I kind of should because my hair is looking ratchet right now. But I did try this on my lips when my lips were so dry that nothing I had was cutting the mustard. Like nothing. My lips were peeling. I couldn't wear lipstick for days. 
And I was reading this little card and it says that you can dab it on your finger and it will help your lips stay moisturized and glossy. And I'm like, I wonder if this will help. So I tried it and it did. And I was like, um, sold. It says that it helps to fade stretch marks. It will help grow your eyelashes and your eyebrows. I've also been using it like for my neck because, oh, I need my nails done, don't judge. When your neck skin gets dry, it looks crepey and it ages you. And that's been happening to me recently a lot where like this skin here, it's just like really super crepey. So what I've been doing is putting this all over my neck at night before bed and just letting it sink into my skin and it really works like my neck doesn't look crepey and dry right now at all so that's what I I've been using this for like moisturizer just slapping it on my face when I'm having like a super dry moment and I kind of love it okay I want to just give mention to this L'Oreal extraordinary clay rebalancing shampoo I got this in like the most random PR package several months ago. It comes with a conditioner too, but um, that's in my shower right now. Um, but the idea of this product is supposed to be that it helps when you have oily roots with dry ends, which is what I have. It's so crazy, like my hair will be so greasy up here and dry AF down here. And I've never found a product that really could help combat that. So I always just like wash here and condition here. And that's been my routine for years. And then I just live and die by dry shampoo in between washings. This stuff is amazing. It really, really works. I noticed right away it cut down on how much dry shampoo I needed to use in between washings. It was kind of astounding. Like I used to use dry shampoo like... If I wash my hair in the morning, by the nighttime I would need it. And now I might use it by like the third day I might need some dry shampoo. It's that good, you guys. And like, I just didn't, wouldn't think that a drugstore product would be that game changing. And this one, this one is game changing. Like if you are somebody who uses dry shampoo all the time, I really recommend giving this a try. And let me know what you think. Because for me, I was just like, where have you been all my life? And while we're on the subject of L'Oreal, they sent me this package with all of these goodies in it. And it's their, oops, their infallible collection. And it didn't come this sloppy. I just kind of kept them all in here. But it has the infallible lip paints in here, the infallible eyeshadow paints, which are dual ended and they're like cream shadows. I also got this blush quad as well as some of these infallible eyeliner. They're infallible paints eyeliner, liquid eyeliner pens. The white one sucks, at least mine does. The white one, we'll talk about the white one later. Um, these are really nice, but what my favorites of this collection are definitely the lip paints. These are awesome, you guys. They're super pigmented. They're super moisturizing. They are not a liquid lipstick. They're like a really, really pigmented gloss. And they're just, they're absolutely gorgeous. And there's all these different shades and you can mix and match them. So like if you blend them together, they make different colors, kind of like paint does. So you can really customize your lip color with these. These obviously are my two favorite. I know, shocking. Um, but it makes the perfect pinky nude combo for me. But I just, I don't know, I've been really liking them. Oh, and this one too. These three. These are my favorites. So this one is called Nude Star, Wild Rose, and Topless. And yeah, these three are so good. And for these eyeshadow paints, these are the ones that I got. There's a bunch of different colors in here. I'm gonna be honest, when I got these, I was like, these are beautiful, like the colors, and I swatched them, and they swatch really nice and everything, but I was like, I tried to apply them. So I'm gonna just show you this one here. This one is Jet Set Blonde. And so it has a matte yellow on this side. 
and a shimmer white on this side. So you can see they're like super pigmented. They have a doe foot applicator inside and I tried to apply them straight to my eye with the applicator and listen, it was not cute and I was like, I look like a crazy retro mod chick who doesn't know how to do her makeup. So I was really kind of like bummed because I'm like, how do I even use these? And then I tried using them with a brush and all was right in the world again. When you use them with a brush, they are gorgeous. They're gorgeous. I will say that when they dry, they set. So they don't stay creamy. They definitely set. But I made, like I was playing around with them and I did an eye look where I actually used this one here, this coral one. It's called Sunset Fire and it has a matte coral here and then a shimmery one here. And I used this and I actually also blended out I used this as my crease color here and then I blended it out with a powder shadow and it was stunning. It was so beautiful. So I really like these for summer and the, and the kind of benefit for having these is if you're somewhere like a festival or you're going to be at a pool party and you're going to be sweating, once these set they don't budge so they won't melt off your face. So that's a really great um, advantage to using these in the summertime and they have so many fun colors, like so many good combos. I think one of my favorites is this olive one. And some of them have double shimmer, like this one. Both of these are shimmer, and some of them have like a matte and a shimmer. There's a lot of color options here, and I'm really, really liking these. So if you guys want to see a makeup tutorial using these, let me know, and I will do that for you guys. Okay, and the last thing on my favorites list today, I'm only going to pull out two of these because I have a big stash and they're behind me, but these are two lip products from Pure. One is the Velvet Matte Liquid Lipstick and the other is the Chrome Glaze Lip Gloss. There's a collection of like five of each of these. I just pulled out these two because they happen to be what I'm wearing right now. I'm really loving this formula. I love the matte one with the gloss on top. They're super moisturizing, they do not dry out your lips, and they have a lot of fun color combinations. So I think I talked about these in a haul video when I first got them, and I basically am following up to let you guys know that these are a win. I love them. The only downside, the only downside is that there's not a lot of product in them. So the, there's a really bright pink gloss that I have in my purse that I use all the time. It's almost gone and that's kind of a bummer because these are almost like travel size, you know? And I just wish that they made the packaging a little bit bigger so that we could get more product out of it. Um, but aside from that, the formulas are amazing. So I really highly recommend checking these out. Okay, and for hate it, um, I feel like I should start calling it something else because hate is a really strong word. This product is from one of my favorite brands, so it makes me like super sad to put it in this category, and it's, I don't really know what to say, I like tried it, it doesn't work for me, and it is this soft light blurring powder from Becca Cosmetics. This is what it looks like. And the point of this powder, supposedly, is to blur out your imperfections. Now for me, if I'm looking for a blurring powder, I'm looking to blur out my giant pores and oh no boo, this is going to make your pores look worse, like a thousand times worse. So I don't know if there's like a technique to this or something that I'm missing, but all this did was highlight my pores and that was just a definite big no-no for me. I didn't like it at all, um, which is kind of a bummer. I feel like it's pretty. The powder is pretty, but it just didn't work for my skin because of, you know, what my goal is, which is to get really, um, to minimize my pores basically. So if you have like already beautiful skin, this powder is gonna look beautiful on you, but then again, if you have beautiful skin, why do you need to blur anything, 
You know what I mean? I don't know. It just doesn't make any sense to me. So this was a fail for me. I love Becca, and very rarely do they do something that doesn't that I don't love. But this was just, you know, just didn't work. What can I say? And lastly, I'm gonna go back to that white eyeliner that I talked about earlier from L'Oreal. This is the Infallible Paints liner, and like, okay, so it swatches okay, but like. I don't know, when I tried to put this on my eye, it was like, no. It just, it wasn't coming out, like, white enough. You know, if, if I have a white liquid eyeliner, I want it to be, like, like, white out. And this just didn't do that. Like, I don't know if you can even see, but it's, like, patchy, sort of. So you have to, like, go over it a few times to, like, get it so you can't see skin through it. And I, like, no, I just, I want it to be, like, solid the first time. And even now, I just put another coat, and I can still see skin, like, through it. My lights are washing it out, but trust me. It just, I don't know, the white one was kind of a fail for me. But the other colors are really good. Let me give you an example. This one is the green one, wild green. That's really pretty, and that's opaque like you cannot let me do a bigger swatch you can't see any skin through that bad boy like at all but the white one you can so yeah that one was kind of a fail for me but I don't hate it I don't hate it I just don't love it either Okay, so that is it for my monthly favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on social. I am on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. My handle is Latte. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.